right, so in this section, we're going to learn uh, the magic being cast. She's casting magic, and if you look at the notes, starting from uh, measure 32, the notes say, play it quasi arpa. Quasi arpa means play it like a harp. So here, conveniently, I have the electronic piano, and I can turn it to play the harp sound. So first we're gonna hear how the harp will sound. Okay, and this is basically the sound that we're trying to reproduce. So how are we gonna reproduce the sound? We're gonna reproduce it in two steps. So in order to extend and sound like harp, obviously you need the sustain pedal. So we first we're gonna play each chord that we play here. We're gonna be using sustain pedal. So the sustain pedal will help us play it like a harp. And the second part is we have to play it staccato, meaning while pressing the sustain pedal, we're gonna be jumping off every note. This is this is it. There's no. This is the only trick uh, to make it sound like a harp. And the faster you play, the more like a harp it will sound. But obviously, the goal is to learn it first and then increase speed. The speed. The good part is uh, both hands play the same chord, so you don't have to learn it twice. Um, basically, an ar arpeggiated chord will play it in sequence, note by note. Okay, and we press the sustain pedal, and then we play the chord. Okay, so D, F sharp, A, and C. Repeat it with the right hand, D, F sharp, a and C. Okay, sustain pedal and staccato. Make it sound like like a harp if you play it fast. Okay, the second chord is A um, D sharp, F sharp, A and B. Same thing here. Okay. And the second chord, D sharp, F sharp, A, and B. Now we can practice two chords together. Make it sound like a harp. So you see what happens if you do not release the sustain pedal in between chords, they start to overlap and it doesn't really sound good. So what we'll have to do is after we play each arpeggio, each chord, we'll have to release the pedal and press it again before we play the second chord and so on. So release, press it again, play the next chord. So the next chord, F, A, C, and E, D, 
The next chord is, we go up half a tone, so it's F sharp, A, B, and D, D sharp. repeat these four and the last two are a C D sharp remains and G and here it's a broken triad there is no fourth note in it so it sounds somewhat finicky but it does fit when you play it fast it's B, D sharp, and F sharp. So it will sound like this. But if you play it fast, you actually it sounds it sounds fine. So you play three notes instead of four, but it sounds like sort of like a magical uh, combination. All right, and because we're moving octave higher, we're switching back into the first two chords. We play them here, and then we, we reach them here as well. And this is how we're gonna end it. So we're gonna... Same exact chords, D, F sharp, A, C. D sharp, F sharp, A, and B. And here, what I suggest you do is, um, as you approach the final chord, so when we got here, we played fast, so it's sort of like a magic cast. And then we play each chord twice, right? So one, two, one, and we slow it down here. And then the last chord, we really slow down. And the reason why we want to slow it down is because now we have to set up for the next part. If you play it fast and then, and then you, you want to play it even faster, it's like, ah, wait, wait, I can't find my notes. What do I do? What do I play? For the casting part, we play fast. but we slow down the last chord. And now as we slow it down, it actually fits if we take a little pause to find the next chords we wanna play, right? And the next chords, we're going back to the main theme. So that's it, so again, And to make it sound like a harp, we use the sustain pedal and we play staccato. I actually think it's kind of genius how he created that. It's just an amazing, amazing use of piano for literally drawing a picture of casting magic. It's just mind blowing to me. Well, all right, let's move to the next part. <laughs> 